Well hello there our spacefaring viewers, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Paborian from the Procrastinauts and we're going to be going into space. Actually we might not be going into space today, I've wanted to do something a little bit different. But I hope you guys don't mind. So without further ado, let's get the surprise on the road. Start game. Aha, our good old faithful launch pad. Let's get into the VAB. Today I think what we're going to do is we're going to build a space plane. Well, I say space plane, it probably won't even be able to get out of the atmosphere, but basically a space plane is like a space capable jet, from what I understand. I'm not too good at building these. I did make one before and it just went everywhere, so this could be fun to watch. I hope it's fun to watch anyway, me feeling. Um, what I'm going to do, instead of boring you to death with... Um, building and whatnot. I'm going to speed this part up so if I can anyway. I'm not too sure how to speed video up in Windows Movie Maker yet. I've not actually done that just yet. So um, without further ado, let's get this on the go. Alright, there we go, we have our first space plane. Hope that wasn't too fast so that you couldn't see what was going on. But um, this is a basic design, very basic design. I'm not too good with aerodynamics like I said in the last episode, so um, who knows how this thing's going to fucking fly. What, what we've got here is we've got some movable wings, we've got tail f uh, flaps and we've got some decent landing gear and a nice, good, decent sized motor to try and get us into the air with. So without further ado, what should we call this? This can be the YT-002 J. The YouTube 002 J, because the first one was a spacefaring rocket. Which, oddly enough, I've not got saved because when I started this I wanted to get rid of all my ships. I've also messed around with the mods as well. Um, instead of the Nova Punch Remix pack, I've took that out and put in the C7 experimental pieces that I didn't have before, as well as the damned robotics and damned aerospace pack, which are some really fucking good parts. I mean, these parts are part of the damned aerospace parts, and the landing gear here is the beta landing gear that C7 has done. Quite good if you ask me, but um, yeah, let's take this bad boy for a fucking test and see how this goes. I hope it doesn't blow up. Alright, so, um. Alright, nice. So we're nice and upright, so let's get ready and. 3, 2, 1, launch. Alright, so the plane flies, that's good news. <laughs> Whack us down to about just over a third of a throttle. And let's go. Whoa, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Um, I should probably switch caps lock on for precision control. Alright, this thing's flying fucking well better than the last one I made. The other one just wanted to spin everywhere. Wee! Of course, we've got our three astronauts back. And um, by the power of the Resurrectonometron, we have Bill Kerman, Jebediah Kerman, and Bob Kerman. I did want to change the names of these guys to the names of the me and the guys that do with this YouTube channel, but every time I tried to change it, it wouldn't go to the launch pad. No idea why that is. I um, might make a comment on the forums about it, asking if it can be done. I did read somewhere on another YouTuber's channel, um, the Y Towers channel, that you can't that you can actually change the Kerbal names, but. Uh, Again, not sure how you do that, so if anyone's got any ideas, let us know. But now look us go. 
as good this is. Um, if you want any tutorials on how to build a decent spacecraft with these mod parts and whatnot, um, go check out the White Owls channel. He, he explains this game really fucking well. I mean, of course, I still I don't know. Like I said, I'm as thick as pig shit when it comes to very smart and technically clever stuff like this. But um, yeah, if you want to learn how to do shit like this, go have a look at them. Uh, I'll post the channel link in the description, and this time I'll actually remember because more often than not, I seem to forget. But um, SAS doesn't seem to do anything for us. And we're looking down to the bottom of our first fuel tank, so uh, let's see if we can land this bad boy back on the landing pad. If I can actually turn the, the bastard. Alright, no, 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 don't roll. Yeah, the concept is loosely designed on um, C7's, uh, not C7, uh, White Owl's jet kind of design. Oh, crap. You know what I forgot to do is we went up. Uh, uh, put our wings into jet formation. <laughs> well, that was good. I wanted to show these off and I didn't even show them off. But yeah, with the um, damn aerospace pack, you see these wings? Adjust them for fucking... Fly or fast fly. Um, right, we're down to our next tank, so let's see if we can get in close. We're landing. Let's see if we can get on that um, runway over there. Whoa, 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 whoa! Calm yourself, calm yourself, calm yourself. Whoa! Uh -oh, we're going at the floor at quite a pace here. And we seem to have got a little bit out of control, but no matter. We're bringing it back under control. Alright, so um, it looks like we could actually do this. Whee! As you can see over there, we've got the moon shining nicely in the sky. We will be going there someday, and I'm hoping we can get something like this to the moon to rag around. If not, I want to be getting a couple of sky cranes and launching another mod that I've got there. I'll show that up in either this video or perhaps the next video. But I probably should have done that first. Get landing gear down. I think we might actually do it. I think we could actually have a successful mission. I hope this thing has brakes. I was reading on the forums that it does have brakes. However, I've yet to see them working. It sounds a bit frustrating just to get ourselves there a bit faster. So we're coming down below to the 50 mark. Alright, reduce. Turn to zero. Alright, time to land. Come on, come on, come on. No. No, 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 no. We lost the wing. No matter, we're still pretty good. Um, B for brakes. B for brakes does nothing. Great. Um, so now we're just going to roll, I reckon. Put that up, hopefully that will reduce our wind resistance a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> nice. So, we might have lost the wing, but that was a kind of successful landing. Our Kerbals are still alive, which is a good thing. Can't be bad at all. I mean, how well, uh, we're gonna, we are going to test, though, how well will this thing fly with one wing. I think we might as well. We've got a tank and a half left. And our Kerbals are still alive. Oh, no, we ain't going nowhere. Our engine's gone. Nice. Oh, well, so, um... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, no! What did we lose? Oh, we lost a canard! God damn it. Right, put the landing gear down. Let's get you like, leveled up. Right, so, congratulations guys, you're alive. Only just so. But yeah, that's the basics of sp uh, uh, space plane flight. Pretty good. I like it. Um, let's go for an end flight and restart that and see how high we can actually take this. Be int very interesting to see. Oh, well, that's good. And a rotor's gone, so uh, end flight. <laughs> Vehicle assembly building. I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it'll explode on the floor. Sometimes it won't. I'm not sure why. So um, let's put SAS on. Max thrust and go. SAS didn't do shit. So uh, 
let's, we're going to have to manually control this, I think. See how high we can get this. Engage jet configuration and pick up speed. See, what I'm expecting is this won't go really that high up. What, what it'll do is it will probably get to a certain height and just get really mega out of control. At that point, I'm going to bring it in for a lander. See if we can take it for a nice, reasonable flight. Um, I suppose I should tell you a bit about this game while we're just getting ourselves to a higher altitude. Um, it's an indie game, which I think I've already mentioned. It is currently in its alpha stage, like most other indie games are at the moment. Uh, costs 15 US dollars. I'm not sure what I entirely trans to in British monies, but 15 US dollars is like seven pounds something, I think. Seven British pounds. Don't know what that is in other currencies. I, I'm not a, not too up on the current exchange rates and the, the world market and all that shit. Um, yeah, it's cheap, it's cheerful, there are lots and lots of mods, and they are constantly updating the game. I think in the next one we might actually get docking clips and shit like that. But that's if we're lucky, so... Um, come on going, mate, you can make it. You're down to about half a tank. Half a tank, half of your first tank gone. getting a little bit more and more harder to, to control seeing as I were breaking out this top part of the atmosphere but I still reckon we can do it. We can still push it out of the atmosphere. We space! Alright, we're down one fuel tank already so we're still going up. See if we can get more bank on this thing, see if we can get it going up. Wee. Come on, you can do it mate. You're doing pretty damn well. You're in the thin part of the atmosphere. God knows what it's going to be like when I actually break out of the atmosphere itself. a little bit more. I can. It actually seems like we're starting to stabilise a little bit, which is a bit weird. I didn't expect that to happen. Alright, we're near enough to the bottom of the next tank. Whoa, shit, we've used two tanks already. Looks like we're coming back down to the planet for a glide. Oh, might as well blitz the last of the fuel. There we go. Alright, so we made it to this part of the atmosphere on the three tanks that we had. Oh well, no matter. Let's have a quick look at the map to see where we're shooting off to. Wow! That's a huge, huge arc. So let's fucking see what we can do about getting ourselves up and out the bastard. Well, I've never seen this before. This is a bit weird. Looks like our trajectory arc decided to show up and chime in its two cents off about where we're going to show up. Hmm. Bit hard to control. Let's see if SAS will do anything for us. Nope. What I do need is some sort of SAS on our doohickey on our actual craft itself. But, oh, we're nearly out of the atmosphere. Well done, little procrastinator astronaut type dudes. You made it into the Earth's atmosphere! Yay! Speed things up a little bit. Convert our... Uh, oh shit, we can't use them. Not, not until we get a bit closer. I'll switch the wings into landing configuration when we get down a little bit. But it looks like we're getting there. Oh? Since when did the wings do that? Oh well. I guess he must have done it automatically because I had my finger on the button. Alright, so um, we're slowly descending. 
when we get a bit lower down, I'm going to turn two times speed off. Because last time when we did that, our little procrastinator astronauts type dudes, um, they died on this day's episode. I was well on for a successful mission and I couldn't believe that. All because of double speed. Hmm. You can do it. Whoa, we're getting a bit out of control here. So um, it's time to engage one speed. And start getting ourselves ready for landing. Oh, well, you've done well today, guys. Hmm. All right, airspeed slowing down. That can't be bad. I just don't want to land in this water, though. That would ruin my day completely. I can't believe I'm completely out of thrust as well to help me across. That's what you get for blitzing it all. Alright, we might actually make that so. Let's sink a little bit. Let's get ourselves lower. I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. Hopefully this time we don't lose a wing. If we can land this, then I'm going to call it a successful mission and cut the part there, getting ready for the next part, which I think might be a, lo a lunar landing vehicle of some variety. And then, who knows, maybe something to pick up the lunar landing vehicle after. Because I want to show off the damned robotics, because they're good. They are really good. But I have to have a play with them first. I made, I made a sky crane last night with custom extendable legs, and Jesus, that thing got high. The robotics are really strong, although not too strong to lift up an entire rocket if you have too few of them. Alright, get yourself more lined up. Alright, so we are below a thousand. Deploy landing gear! C7, by the way, dude, I love these new landing gears. They look really, really plush. So I hope you I hope you ever see this comment. I doubt you will, but I hope you do. It's just a shame that they're not coloured, but uh, hell, I can go from like this. I mean, the wheels are the, f the only thing that look out of place on it, if I'm truly honest. Like, it's supposed to be black tyres. But I can rule it out, say it's a new space age type of material. Shit. Ain't so bad. Come now, boys, you're almost there. Don't fuck it, fuck it. Don't fucking fuck it. Don't fucking fuck it. Fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. Alright, we're down to... Come on. Right, with less than 50 miles an hour, this is a good speed to slow down at. Can touch down any time, any time whatsoever. All right. Yes. B. B for brakes because brakes don't seem to do anything, which is a shame, really. All right. So, um, congratulations. You're on a fucking hill. It wouldn't surprise me if you roll down this bastard after it's got up there. Figured that this would happen. See if we can get ourselves onto the side of an incline. Don't fuck it. I'm warning you, boys. Don't fuck it. Right, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna roll down until we do come to a complete stop. Oh man, boring times. I just want it to stop, and then this will call us a successful mission. Our first YouTube successful mission. Probably be the only one of its kind, seeing as how this was relatively easy to fly. It surprised me quite a lot, actually. I, re I really did not expect this to fly that well, anyway. Right, are you fucking at the bottom of this hill yet? Dear God. I could probably take off with that on it again. Pretty much. 
<laughs> we're off. Come build up more drag. More drag. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We lost something. We lost our engine. That's okay. Acceptable loss. <laughs> Bill, Jebediah and Bob all going absolutely ballistic. Calm down, bros. Calm down. You're down, aren't you? You're safe. Unless you go crashing into a building, which... Given the current situation, I'd say there isn't one. But we do need to slow down a little bit, so... Um, what are you doing? Why are you picking up so much speed? <laughs> this mission's going to end in failure. I can see it. Stop picking up speed! What's going on? I don't get it. Oh my god, what's going on? Why am I picking up speed? Slow the fuck down. What is going on? How am I flying this? Is this working off the dodo aspects? Shit. Alright, get yourself below the speed. Below. Oh my god, I'm just picking up speed. Slow the fuck down. Ah, here we go. speed again. How did this happen? Mental note. Landing on a hill is not a good idea. I'm still going up. Right, get down. Fuck down. I've give up. Come on, wind resistance. I need an air brake. Air brake would be just fine, thank you very much. I don't think there are air brakes in any of the packs yet. Oh, 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 oh. Shit, so we can land faster than 50 miles an hour. That's good news. But we can't slow down the brakes, they do nothing! Please! Alright, we're slowing down. It's good news, everyone's looking a bit happy. Brakes, please, just work! Alright, can we turn this to fucking maybe get a bit of a Fuck! We're still alive. Can we do the other one? Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> well, you're all still alive. Successful mission or what, guys? Um, I think we're going to leave that there. So, as always, YouTube, I hope you liked this episode, even though it got a bit boring towards the end and a bit weird. But, um, as always, leave a comment if you want to see anything in particular. Leave a like if you like this video. Um, and until next time, keep building up that subscriber base. Catch you in a bit. Peace.